It will now be known as the Hex.com Space Diamond. The Space Diamond. How's it going, everybody? How's it going? What a beautiful day here in Hexland. Although, you know, if you looked at the price charts, maybe you're not, uh, uh, you know, you, opportunities, right? It's opportunity day. Uh, get your opportunities now. There's a mega sale uh, going on. So hopefully everybody's getting those mega sales. You guys are are, are going to snatch them up, right? It's uh, it's like Bed Bath & Beyond just closing for a, for a woman. Uh, that's what it feels like today. That's what it feels like today. Uh, doing great things. Uh, Hex is. It's given the next guy's opportunity. That's what's happening. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the charts. And uh, I will uh, let you guys know of what's going on in the news. All right. Bitcoin having a rough day today. Let's see. It got clear up to 43,500. And it's already down to 42,000. Let's see. 382. Wrecked. Wrecked Arena. It is not doing too well. It looks like the MACD right here is uh might come back down and flip back around which is bearish it uh it went bullish here a couple days ago on january 28th but uh yeah we got still the 52 right here it could bounce off off of let's check out ethereum ethereum doing about the same exact thing although it is below the uh, two moving averages and below the support line so uh, we talked about this yesterday. It could come down probably somewhere down in the uh, 2100 zone, uh, possibly 2200, high 2200. Uh, looks like the MACD though. MACD, it, if we get a good week, it could cross and uh, good things could happen. It looks like the histogram is showing that uh, it wants to go, it wants to go bullish. Uh, but we'll have to keep a, uh, keep an eye on that. S&P down 0.32% today. Uh, NASDAQ 0.17, uh, Dow Jones 0.71, and the dollar do up a half a percent. Uh oh, look at that dollar do. That looks like some strength, uh, which could wreck us all. All right, let's get into the uh, carnage. Let's go ahead and take a look at the carnage. Uh, let holy smokes, uh, 2.5 percent down today for Pulse Chain. Looks like we're at three zeros, 1.14. Uh, it is down 2.52 percent. Pulse X four zeros 4.4 it is down 4.9 percent today two dollars and 43 cents for the incentive token down 8.39 percent all right and uh the beautiful you know the classy lady uh p hex she's walking and strutting her stuff down the uh down the aisle she is up half a percent uh good job uh e hex still uh still kicking uh, but it, or excuse me, EHEX is uh, 207.7, uh, totaling 2.25 together. One T-shirt right now, $475. It looks like your payout per T-shirt is going to get you about 10 cents. 9.68% is currently staked, which is a pretty big uh, move from yesterday. Yesterday, it was 9.71%. So some pretty big stakes must have came out in the last uh, 24 hours. $249 for one T-shirt over on uh, EHEX. Payout per T-shirt is 5.26 cents. And 9.29% uh, is currently staked over there on Ethereum. So uh, watch out. Looks like some people uh, have gone, have gone liquid. They gone liquid. Instead of going clear, they have gone liquid. Uh, all right, let's check out the chart for EHEX. EHEX looks like it's just bouncing up around here. Uh, man, we had a good move from 0 0.003 all the way up to what? 1.1 cents. But, uh, you know can't always have nice things people are always selling people are always uh making make on a mockery of this place all right here's your hex chart <clears throat> there you guys go uh, not too much going on today it doesn't look like back and forth action that's the five minute chart let's go to the daily chart uh there you guys go not much going on uh, a lot of uh these are a lot of uh, uh right here is places back in the day that i showed that there's a uh some support lines so hopefully they plan out pan out and they don't go through them uh but it looks like you know we're gonna probably come down at least to 1.3 cents uh for your p hex and maybe we get a move back up all right so this is could it be some of the big news that's being uh being chilled out celsius exits bankruptcy commences return of over three billion dollars to the creditors 
Uh, so in the United States, it is set to start distributing $3 billion worth of crypto and the fiat to creditors, along with launching a new Bitcoin mining firm. So I'm guessing you guys are probably all going to get into that. What a great idea. After a failed company, after these guys stole your money already, uh, you're going to go buy into their next... Uh, the, don't do this. <laughs> you can do whatever you want with your own money, but holy smokes, the people that get scammed by like uh, uh, Richard brought it to light to me back in the day where it's a reloading scheme where they trick you they steal your money and then they uh they they go oh well we fixed it we fixed it Get, invest in our new coin you know this is this is this is gonna be our our real vision here this is gonna be the one then that one gets wrecked and then they start up another one and then they start up with another one and by time you know they've done five or six uh the people have completely lost all of their money and then it's all over for them but uh so beware of the reloading scheme uh not only in this uh mr celsius or mr mashinsky's uh, reloading scheme uh but any of these i mean we're seeing uh, scam coins there was one called beat i guess uh that uh got rugged today i don't know the whole logistics behind it something happened sami did a whole thing on it but uh yeah i mean guys there's gonna be things called reloading schemes where they're gonna say hey you know this one didn't pan out because we did this and we accidentally you know did made a number here and it should have been here but our next one that's gonna be the big one you gotta get into that one that one's gonna you know and people buy into that one and uh then they get uh wrecked and, uh, i've seen it for years that's why i don't uh you know if if the one time it doesn't work out the, with the you know the guy and it gets rug pulled and uh, then it's done you know i would never if richard if hex uh came out and it was it did really well for a couple days and then it rug pulled and it went down forever and and never came back and richard came out and was like well i'm gonna do pulse chain no you know that, uh, no thanks because uh that's the reloading scheme uh the, the, the they're gonna get your tr try to get your money on the second the second round around eight 98 percent of uh, celsius creditors agreed to the bankruptcy exit plan which comes to over 18 months after it paused withdrawals in june 22nd and filed bankruptcy a month later so uh there you guys go just be aware of that uh you know when your coin can't pay out uh its own self that is programmed let's say that celsius i don't remember what it was paying out in but i know there's some coins out there that go hey we you know lock up your coins and we'll give you ethereum uh right the, the, you you lock up 100 tokens for three years and guess what we're gonna pay you out daily or we're gonna pay you out weekly in ethereum well guess what they can't keep giving getting ethereum at some point because that is called a ponzi scheme that is what happens because no they can't at some point they can't get new investors in because they have to pay the old investors and it all collapses the reason why hex doesn't do this is because it is programmed into it that it pays out the hex no matter what the price is no matter what happens it will always pay out the hex uh, unless there's a, a vulnerability or a bug and I mean it's been going on for what 1500 days or longer at this point so uh, you know if there if that was the case it would have probably already happened uh, because the, you know big payday was a big one where the code was doing things that it hadn't done before but now it's uh, you know it's doing the exact same thing every day so uh just be aware of that don't get into a reloading scheme don't get into ponzi schemes uh you know always be careful because uh they're always looking for the new suckers and especially the people that uh you know they want your thing they want your hex they want your pulse chain they want your pulse x they can see how awesome uh all of those things are right they they can see that uh pulse chain is amazing they can see that hex is amazing they can see that uh, pulse x is amazing and incentive token so they're going to create ponzi schemes they're going to create all these things to get you thinking oh i can i can get just a little bit more and then and then i'm going to get back into pulse chain well sometimes you don't get a gut back into it it just goes to uh, zero and you're not able to ethereum i like to, i like protecting you from scams that's the reason i don't tell you guys about many coins uh is because so many coins suck and some super duper omega suck this history of terrible coins targeting hexkins is crazy some were exploited on day one by the devs some went to zero and relaunched to die some more 
I mean, we just talked about this, right? Exactly. Uh, there's been so much trash you can't remember it all. Some coins you can't even find charts for anymore. The no survivor coins. Hex had four years of perfect flawless operation. Pulse chain and incentive are coming up on one year of perfect operation. Gopulse.com has cool stats. Uh, so Richard's showing you some of these uh, charts that you see. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I know what this chart is. I think this is wise. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this one is. I'm, what is this? Zen? This is probably Zen coin. All right. So uh, he's, he's laughing at him. And, uh, you know, if you think that you're going to be the one that, uh, oh, I, I, no, this one's the best. Now, I'm not saying you can't put, you know, three, four hundred bucks in something, but just use new capital. Don't use your hex. Don't use your pulse chain. You know, do whatever you want with your money. But, uh, you know, it, it, It'd be who of you if you if you did that uh all right the uh the hex.com diamond uh as you guys know it was called the enigma uh yes there's quite a few 5555 tattoos out there it was previously called the enigma enigma diamond enigma diamond uh please refer to it as the hex.com diamond because that's its name it is not called the enigma enigma diamond even newspapers don't get everything right but got the name right about two years ago now uh so remember it came out on the news the enigma diamond guys uh richard is also saying the he call it the hex.com space diamond if you wish so space diamond we are the uh I, I you know i came up with the term people call the uh, xrp army or the link uh, marines or whatever why aren't we the hex space force or the pulse chain space force right we're going to the moon boys we are going to the moon and here's our diamond you can call it the hex.com space diamond awesome awesome we got a diamond behind our name so richard gives us a little bit of a uh uh helpful hints if ethereum ever had tokens but no eth for gas someone built this s m l o s m o l refuel small refuel uh if you go and click it it's uh it brings you to this website and you can uh instead you can use it i wonder if they use okay they don't use pulse chain uh but i pretty sure you can use your token as gaffy so let's say you had a million hex but you had no ethereum uh you could use a, a hex as the uh as the gas fee so i have never used it but uh, if you're you know if you have somebody that you're onboarding or or uh you're trying to get in this might be it so s m l o s m o l refuel.com all right that's pretty much the news guys other than that uh bitboy or ben armstrong messaged me today we are possibly more than likely going to do a uh not a live stream but a video today uh so uh it'll be a good one it'll be a good one you know some people are angry about it no hexo don't do it but uh i don't care I, I, why not right let's get the word out there let's get it out to as many people if you don't remember richard talked to literally every single person that he could get on his show uh back in the day right back in the day he got seriously everybody it didn't matter who it was it didn't matter if it was some joe blow off the street that had 15 followers if he was talking smack or if he wanted to learn more guess what richard hart had him on his show so why not us why don't we do that and a lot of people in the uh, community do it already uh i just don't know why we're ostracizing one man because he's had a you know a rough past i guess if you want to call it that uh you know we've all had rough past me included and uh you know hopefully uh hopefully it gets better hopefully all of his stuff gets figured out and uh he's able to shill our coin another day but that's all i got for you guys today hit the comments let me know what you guys think and uh, i will see you guys tomorrow take care everybody